everyone so today I am doing my makeup collection and storage video if you guys follow me on my social media you will know that I am moving so I decided that before I moved house I would get together all of my makeup and put it away because it was kind of scattered everywhere over Christmas you guys know how it is everything gets really out of control um, but I finally tied it up and I put it all back to where it belonged and I decided that I would film it before I packed it up in boxes and moved and then this way that means in a few months time once I have moved into my new place and settled down and got everything how I want it I can do another one of these videos but I just thought I'd show you how I have had all of my makeup over the last few months please don't think that I'm trying to brag I know this is so annoying every YouTube guru starts with this this is not bragging this is just requested and makeup is something I collect it's my passion it's my job so I have a lot of it and I'm not ashamed of it I love my makeup collection I love collecting it it's just I don't know it's just one of my biggest passions so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you soon. Okay so this is what I'm looking at right now. This is my workstation. This is where I film my videos and if you want to see um, how I kind of set up my film setup and my lighting and everything I'll put a link down below to my film setup video thing that I did on my vlog channel. But yeah basically I have one of these tendril things right here and then another one here and then I have all of my palettes down here. So I'm going to start with these things right here, all of this stuff right here. So basically this entire thing is from and I'll put a link down below. It's quite expensive but it is really good and sturdy and it holds a good amount of stuff. But basically what I use mine for is for putting anything that's brand new in or anything that I want to use in a tutorial. So if I'm planning on using something, I'll put it in here. So at the top I just have some samples and stuff because this top drawer is quite thin so that's not very interesting. Um, and the second one, what do I have? These are like jam packed full because I need to film some hauls. So I've got a Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill OCC Color Concentrate I think they're called. I don't really remember. You guys have seen heaps of this. I've got my Riri palette in Smoked Cocoa. Okay, a lot of this is just random stuff, like some random lip products I have here, and then some eyeliners and some Elizabeth Arden lip liners. This is a Physician's Formula kind of blush thing. We have another Chanel, I can't say this, it's like a cream eyeshadow, which I really want to use in a tutorial. A NARS eyeshadow, this is an eye sold, and it's really pretty. It's like a bronze duo. I also have this single, this one is in Rage. And it's like a purple. I'm not a huge fan of this to be honest actually. And there's a really good dupe by Wet n Wild. And I really want to do an updated um, look using this Silent Treatment Trio by Wet n Wild. I did one ages ago. It was one of my favourite cheap palettes. So I need to do another one. And then I've got the Stila in the Garden palette down here which I won't pull out. Um, that I really want to do a tutorial with as well. Next drawer. Um, I have some Lime Crime, what is this? This is New York City. I think this is a yellow lipstick, but I'm going to do another Lime Crime swatch video soon. I've got a bunch of MAC lipsticks down here. Um, I have a mascara by Smashbox. I have a couple of bronzers by NARS. Um, hard Candy Blush. This is like, I don't know, it's kind of like a glittery product by Lorac. And then this Cora's Lip Butter. Another Lime Crime lipstick back there and a Cora's face primer that I'm really excited to try out. So a lot of this is um, quite new and I haven't tried it yet. This is a new Australis blush. And this really beautiful Smashbox palette. That one is called Rage I think. And then this It Cosmetics. This is like a cream highlight product. Oh look, you can see me kind of. Again, lots of lipsticks. I'm not going to go through each lipstick because you guys are going to see them in tutorials and things. So it's called Naturally Pretty and it opens up like that and it's really 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 pretty so I'm excited to do a look using this I love that sunset color so pretty there's a MAC hot paprika eyeshadow and then I have some cream color bases this is the bronze I think this is sepia these bourgeois 24 hour creamed powder um, eyeshadows that I want to try out another NARS eyeshadow excuse my nails they're like completely grown up but this is in Kuala Lumpur such a pretty duo another one of those bourgeois 24 hours I love that color I love khaki kind of colored eyeshadows and I have this bronze kind of NARS jumbo eye pencil which I really needed a tutorial with it's a really pretty color next draw down this is jam packed full with more MAC lipsticks these new Chi Chi eyeshadows which I haven't tried out yet so you'll see these in a video soon I'm not being too thorough with these drawers just because this is all stuff you're going to be seeing I also have quite a few new L'Oreal products I'm going to do some first impressions with um, the pink lime crime velveteen 
I have some of the Color Burst um, matte balms and lacquer balms from Revlon and some new Australis products. They've got these like powder eyeliners. Um, what else do I have in here? The new Brow Super Liner by L'Oreal. So those will be really cool to try and that's basically all that's in there is just lots of variations of stuff. And I've got a spare Riri palette which I'm going to do a giveaway on because I accidentally got my hands on two of them so I don't need two obviously. This sounds really cool too. This is L'Oreal Gel Matic Eyeliner and I guess it's just meant to be like a really like intense black eyeliner so Definitely you guys will see that really soon. Let me know what you want to see a first impression on because I've got quite a few things in here. And then this poor bottom one is absolutely jam-packed. So I have NARS Penny Lane Cream Blush, I think it is. I have some of the new Maybelline Smoky Pencils. Do you want to see a first impression of these or do you just want to see like a tutorial? Um, I also have a new quad from Tom Ford which I haven't used yet which looks stunning. This one is in the shade Golden Mink so I'm so excited to try that out. Some of the new Maybelline matte lipsticks, I've got a few of these um, so I'll definitely try these out at some point. I haven't tried them yet. Heaps more of the Chi Chi Single Eyeshadows which are looking really nice. They're like baked and they are really really pigmented. Another new mascara I guess, this is the Colossal Smoky Eyes so I don't know, just another spin-off of their line. And then some Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Sticks, which I could also do a kind of first impression on if you want. This is another NARS eyeshadow single. Sorry, my hands have like fake tan all over them. I haven't rinsed it off yet. But this one is in the shade Cambodia, and it's like a really pretty dusty, orangey, rusty color. This It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. Um, I have some more of those Lorac things, some more of the color balms. Um, an eyeshadow quad, some more matte lipsticks. I have another hard candy blush back here. I love these, but I haven't tried this one yet, obviously. But I love the other ones I have. And then all of these Stila palettes that I haven't tried yet. Um, I've got the Cargo HD powder. And then I've got a couple of these Lorac palettes, which I love my other ones. So hopefully I like these. There's just like a cool tone one and then a warm tone one. And these were really cheap. And I got them off Ulta. And I used um, Ship It To to get it to me. And then up here I have six lipstick holders. And I just got these off eBay. So I'm just going to do a quick rundown of each one. So these two live at the back. And they are just a bunch of my MAC um, lipsticks. Which I have a MAC lipstick collection video. Which has like most of these mentioned. But I do have a bunch more new ones. Which I'll eventually get around to showing you. But I don't want to show them to you in this video. Because that would just be ridiculous. As you can see in these two. I have a bunch of Chi Chi lipsticks. Which I'm not going to go through. Because I will do a review and swatch video. With all of these in. Um, but I will go through some of these. I have some of my makeup store lipsticks. I have Prairie Dear Baby Trip. Crown and First Kiss. My favourites are definitely Baby. Which is kind of like a brownish nude color but it's quite sheer so it's really really pretty on the lips and then this one is called trip which is like a really pretty kind of pinky color so love them i definitely think makeup store lipsticks are something to check out um i also have four of my Stila color burst what are they called color balm lipsticks or something this one's in olivia and it's like a dark kind of nude color this one is called Valentina, which I haven't tried before, but it's like a real vibrant kind of reddish orange color, like a blood orange color. This one is my favorite, and it's called Avery, and it's just like a peachy pink when it focuses. There we go. And then this one here is called Elle, and it's just a really pretty bright medium kind of pink color. And then my Makeup Forever... Um, nude lipstick which I mentioned in my 2013 favorites and I also have a random matte lipstick here because I couldn't fit it anywhere else and then here I have Illa Masca's Live which is a really light pink which has a different color mixed on top of it and then the other one I own is Fable and that is what Fable looks like so it's a really nice kind of wearable pinkish peachy color and then here I have a bunch of my Lime Crime lipsticks and I do have a Lime Crime swatch video which I'll link down below and as I said I'm going to be doing a part two with all of the rest of the collection by Lime crime and then I have some more Chi Chi and then a couple of the Riri Rihanna um, MAC lipsticks and then this is all of my kind of like expensive lipsticks well some of them are these three here are YSL lip stains and you've seen them in my videos before my YSL Rouge for Lips my YSL Cream Pure Couture's I said that really weird this is my Tom Ford lipstick in number one Spanish pink and it's just a wearable daytime pink kind of 
mauvey pink color and then these are my Urban Decay lipsticks which you've seen me use in tutorials and then my Too Faced ones as well. So if you'd like to see any of these lipsticks in like a lipstick swatch video just let me know and I will do that for you. I'll link down below every lipstick swatch video I've already done so you can check those out as well. Now moving on to my main stash of makeup that I use and my favorites and all that kind of thing. These are most of my brushes. I also have another container like this that's in the bathroom that I've got to clean. Well, I've got to clean all the brushes in it, obviously. Most of my brushes are XO Beauty, which is my own brand. I also have some Sigma. I also have some Sedona Lace, some Fearless, some Real Techniques. I have this Bare Minerals Quick Change Brush Cleaner, which I really like. Basically, you just spray it on a tissue and then you can clean your brush really quickly and it dries like almost instantly. So it's really, really good for while you're doing your makeup. And then in my 10 drawer, I got this off Amazon. Very top drawer. I have three trays. You can see two at the moment. There's one more at the back I'll show you soon. This drawer here is all my primers. So I have the MAC Prep and Prime Primer. This is the Natural Radiance one. I also have MAC Strobe Cream. The Leo Ali Dolish Vita BB Cream, which is kind of like a color corrected primer BB cream thing. And then I also have Inaka Pure Primer. It's organic. And then I also have my Makeup Store Skin Serum, which is a really good primer product. My Bourjois Happy Light Primer, which is really good as well. My Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Primer, which I haven't actually tried this yet, so... I really need to get around to doing that. I also have this Makeup Forever HG High Definition Elixir, which is really, really moisturizing. So if I'm having a dry skin day, it's a really good primer. Um, paired up with something like this, which is my L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base, which is one of my ultimate favorites. I also have a random face and body hanging out in here. And then, I don't know what this is, the Shiseido Pore Smoothing Corrector Primer. So those are all my primers. And then in here, I have my Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, my Hello Flawless by Benefit, my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, Nice Sheer Glow. This is Bourjois Flower Perfection. And then back here I have L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I have a Revlon Color Stay. I have a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my Chanel Vitalumia Aqua. This is my 123 Perfect by Bourjois. 24 Hour Revlon Mousse Foundation. And then my Mousse Foundation by Laura Mercier. And then in drawer two, I have a few more foundations over here. My Makeup Store Foundation. Um, this is my Kat Von D Locket Foundation, Clarins, Super Restorative Foundation, my Naked Skin by Urban Decay, and then back here I have two HD foundations by Makeup Forever. In here I have all of my concealers and things like that, so I have my Essential Skin Enhancer by Kevin Aquan, my ELF HD Setting Powder, I have one by Chi Chi, I have a brush in here which I use to conceal which is my Exo Beauty Round Top Blender Brush, my favourite MAC Pro Longwear, I have a Makeup Store Concealer, this hair is just an eye cream which I use and my Bare Minerals Well Rested. In here I basically just have some lip balm, so I've got Baby Lips, MAC, um, I've got some eye creams, lip butter, eye drops. I've also got my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray, my Leo Ellie one, and Fix Plus, and NYX Dewy Finish Spray. At the back here I keep a bunch of my BB creams and everything, so this one is the Mishka number 23 Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have Elizabeth Arden, which is my favorite. I have the Josie Moran Matchmaker Foundation, which I like to use just really lightly as a tinted moisturizer kind of thing. Kabuki brush for all my powder. Um, this is an eye cream by Plante. Leo Ali. I have Chi Chi, which is really, really good. My Dr. Brandt one and a CC cream by Skin79. Then over here is all my powders for now that I'm using at the moment. I keep my um, Kabuki brushes in here just because it's easier to find them when I'm doing my powder. I have Cover Effects, NARS, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, Australis Fresh and Flawless, Bare Minerals. I have a loose powder by Laura Mercier. I have the pressed Bare Minerals as well. Back here is Maybelline Stay Matte, MAC Studio Fix Powder, and another one. In here I have a bunch of primers and random things. So I've got more lip balms. I've got my glitter adhesive. I have my Makeup Store Mixing Liquid, which I like to use with pigments and things. My Haro, my favorite lip balm. Eye Primer, Duo Lash Glue, just a bunch of things like that. And then over here I have some cream color bases and cream eyeshadows and things. So I have some Illamasqua ones. This one here is called Hollow, which I need to use or try using for my contouring. 
This one here is Androgen, which I used in a tutorial and I absolutely love it. This one here is a dark purple colour. And then I have the couple of silver ones. And I have some Makeup Forever bases in here. And also a random Inica red one. Fourth draw down, I love this draw. It's got my favourite cream eyeshadow, so I have a bunch of like Makeup Forever ones again and then I have some Maybelline color tattoos, I have MAC paint pots, I have some Chanel ones, I have a Benefit one, I have some Bobbi Brown ones, some more Lamasca ones and some NARS ones. Some of my favorites, I really love this Giorgio Armani Icicle. This isn't really cream product but it's really really pigmented and this is a number 28. I also really love this Benefit Cream Eyeshadow and this is in My Two Cents. Absolutely love Beach Bronze and this is by Bobbi Brown. It's such a stunning colour. And I love this green by NARS. It is called Me Me Mozambique. That's such a weird word. And then Indian Wood Paint Pots and Eclair Paint Pot. Like, I've got so many paint pots I love in here. But you see me use these things like all the time in like every video. These two drawers are very hectic. I have some eyelash curlers, eyebrow stuff, mascaras. I don't really think I'm going to go through all of this because it's really, really boring and intense. But one of my favorite mascaras is right here. This is my MAC 3D. Love the Clinique Bottom Lash. I'm really loving Chi Chi um, eyebrow pencil at the moment. I'm really loving my e.l.f. brow kit. But yeah, basically that's where I put all of my eyeliners. That's where I put all of my mascaras pencil sharpeners and things like that. Just everything for like the eyes. In drawer number five I have a bunch of blushes. In here I have a bunch of my boxed ones which are by Benefit. These four are by Benefit. You can see what they're called by looking at that. And then I have some Fox in the Boxes at the back by Hard Candy which are really great. My Hourglass palette. This is the ambient lighting palette that came out at Christmas time and it's just got three different powders in there. This is my Too Faced Leopard Love palette and I absolutely love this. It's got such pretty colours. I have my Paparazzi Perfect HD Blush by Australis which I love. This is in the shade to Thrill I think. It's the pink one. My Cargo Blush. This is in Catalina and it's a really really pretty like everyday peachy pink colour. Really cool tone. Really pretty. This is my Cheek to Chic um what's her name, Charlotte Tilbury blush, and this is in the shade Love is the Dragon, it's the pink one. I haven't really used it very much, so I'll get back to you on this one. I don't really know how I like it, look at that double chin. Two of my favourite blushes, my Tom Ford blushes, this one here is in Love Lust, and it's like a dupe from Orgasm by NARS, and then this one here is called Blush, and it's like a really hot pink colour, like almost red. And then back here I have a bunch of like other blushes. So these two are by Leo Ali. They're both cream blushes. I have a Stila convertible colour. This one's in Petunia and it's basically just like a cream colour and you can use it on your lips or your cheeks or your eyes or wherever. I have four NYX blushes. This one here is in Terracotta and it's like a orangey bronzy colour. It looks really good with a bronze makeup look. This one here is called Angel. This one here is called Peach. And then this last one here is called Rose Garden. It's just like a rosy pink. I also have this loose um, face front blush in Funfair which I bought because it's like really, I don't know, it's a really cool colour. It's like lavender. I haven't used it yet. And then this one here is called Solar Flare by Sweet Pen Fae and it's just like the most intense pink colour ever. It's very pigmented. A couple of e.l.f. blushes here. I have some of the the balm ones, some more of the balm, and then I also have some sleek in here too. This is by Paul and Joan. It's really cute. It's really cute packaging. So that's what that looks like. It's number 11. And then I also have some NYX cream blushes back here. And then everyone loves this. This is the Milani Luminoso. So just looks like that. In drawer number six, I have a lot more blushes. Down here are all of my NARS ones, so I'm not going to show you every single one, but I'll read out which ones I have. I have Deep Throat, Gina, Daydream, Enchanted, Desire, Liberté, um, Orgasm, Super Orgasm, and I also have Angelica. My favorite out of all of them I'll show you, this is Liberté, and it's just like a really dusty kind of like orangey color. And then my makeup store blushes I'm obsessed with. This one is in Peach, and this one is in Must Have. Must Have is a peachy pink color. It's really pretty. And then Peach is just like the most neutral kind of blush you can get and it just goes with every makeup look. And here I have a Milani blush. I have my Tarte blushes here. I have Memorable. I have a Tipsy and I have Glisten. I also have this big Milani kind of blush thing. And then one of my favorite blushes of all time, my Art Deco Blushing Bronzer, which was limited edition, but it's just so pretty. Back here I have a couple of Illamasqua blushes. This one here is in Hussy, and it's just like a really vibrant kind of peachy pink color. 
Do you notice how many times I say peachy pink? I've got like everything in the shade peachy pink. And this is a cool tone pink and this is in Tremble. And then I have a duo in Katie and Ambition, which is like a real cool tone pink and then kind of like a shimmery rose color. And then one of my favorite blushes as well is Vintage Peach by Bare Minerals and it's just like a peach color. So basically I have a million blushes in the same color, but that's just, that's just what I do. And here I have all of my MAC blushes, too many to call out, but I have a bunch of mineralized ones, I have some powder ones, um, I have the skin finish ones, and then the normal mineralized ones, so just a few different ones in here. And then back here are just random ones, I have some Wet n Wild, I have a Topshop, I have some e.l.f. and then some MUA, Gadi, and then I have a Stila Convertible Color kind of palette as well. In the seventh drawer I have all of my bronzers and highlighters, so actually this could probably go in a blush drawer, but oh well. This is my Fox in a Box, and this is in Truth or Dare, which is like a blush and bronzer. I love this, like, to death. I have Too Faced Pink Leopard, which is like a blushing bronzer, which I really like. The Riri Loves Matte Bronzer. I have this Wonder Powder by Makeup Store, which just looks so pretty and naturally bronzed. My hand looks really weird from this angle. It looks really, like, chubby and small, but really, I have, like, really long fingers. Anyway, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is an Elizabeth Arden kind of bronzer highlighter thing. It looks like that. It was one of the spring collections. I have Tarte Park Ave Princess. I have the Napoleon Purtis. I have Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I have Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. And then I have Hula. I have Nars, you know, my Laguna, the Bourjois Bronzer. Um, I have Lorac Tantalizer, which I haven't tried yet. I have my It Cosmetics Big Disc, and I have my Makeup Store Bronzer, which is so pretty as well. In the very last one, I have Nars Albatross, which you guys have seen. I've got my Kevin Aquan. This is Candlelight Highlighter. And then I have my Stila Duo. I have Becca Rose Gold Highlighter, so it's just a rose gold color. I have my Coca Cabana Liquid Illuminator Stuff by Nars. This Makeup Store Venus um, cream highlight stuff. It's like really pretty. Milani highlighter. I have this Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC, which is a good highlighter. My Mary Luminizer. My Gemma Kid kind of cream highlight stuff as well. In this drawer I have some random lipsticks. I've got all my Napoleon Purtis ones. Some random ones. I have my matte um, NYX lipsticks. I have literally like the weirdest things like a Barry M lipstick. This is like a super vibrant kind of red color and it's a number 158. I should really use this in a tutorial. It's so cool. This hair is Burberry, but doesn't fit my lipstick holder, it's like a brownish nude. I have all my NYX round lipsticks and then my MUA ones, which you've seen in videos before. And then back here I have all of my Chi Chi lip lacquers and my creamy matte liquid lipsticks, which do you guys want to see a swatch review video? Because I love these and there are so many amazing colors, like look at this one. How cool is this? And here I have all of my OCC lip ties, black label lipsticks by NYX, which you've seen in my swatch video, linked down below. A whole lot of miscellaneous lipsticks. I've got some Australis ones, which I really like. This one here is called Teen Pop, and it's like a really vibrant pink color. And then this one here, this is called Lick the Icing, and it's like a dupe for Saint Germain. My Anoxa lipsticks are really pretty. They're exactly what you see right here there. Really, really nice. I really love these. And then at the back, I've got all of my Peri Peri ones, which you have seen in my swatch video also. And down the very bottom, I have a bunch of lip glosses. I really cannot be bothered going through every single one because there's so many, but basically, I just love pinks. I love NYX Butter lip glosses. I love Buxom lip glosses. I love Australis. I love MAC. I love the Chi Chi ones. Bunch of lip liners. So many lip liners. Most of them are by like Chi Chi and everything. I love Chi Chi lip liners. I love MAC lip liners. I love NYX lip liners. And then in here I have a bunch more lip glosses. And then on this side, this is like my lip colors. So like opaque things and miscellaneous things. So I have my Velour lips, which are really opaque matte liquid lipsticks. And then I have my Too Faced lip injections, which are like plumping. And I have my Nude Hourglass pencil. This one here is in shade number three. And it's just a really pretty nude color. I have my Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain Things by Revlon. So on to trolley number two. Number one, in the top drawer I have a bunch of my MAC pigments. I have a big collection just there. I have this Christmas collection thing. What is this called? Stroke of Midnight Face Palette in Cool. 
and that just looks like that. I'm not sure if these are still available or not. I have a bunch of my single MAC eyeshadows that eventually I'll get around to depotting. Um, so, yep. And then over here I have two of my favorite eyeshadows. This is Makeup Store Sunrise and it's an orange. And then I also have this one here which I got because of Lauren Curtis. This is bronze and it's so nice. I love that color. And then I also have a pigment here and two of the Stila kind of... What are these even called? The foil eyeshadow things. And a glitter by Makeup Store, which is a really pretty green. Back here I have some cream colour bases by MAC. I have Pearl, Shell, Hush, and uh, what's the last one called? Luna. So they're all just cream products that you can use on your face. And then back here I have all of my Pro Long Wear or pressed pigments or my mineralized um, eyeshadows by MAC. In drawer number two, I have a bunch of pigments. Again, I'm not going to go through all of these because it's kind of boring. Those are just all my pigments I have. I have Sweet Pen Fae, I have Bare Minerals, I have Makeup Geek, Inica, I have Glamour Doll Eyes, I have some MUA, I have some Inglot, some Color Revolution, just a bunch of different colors. Drawer number three, these are all my Jumbo Eye Pencils and my NYX Cream Eyeshadows. So my favorite cream eyeshadow by NYX is this one. It is called Copper. I love it. And then I've got all of my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and things similar to that. So like my Stila Stick Eyeshadows, my Rimmel Scandalized ones, my Chi Chi ones which are amazing, just all that kind of thing. And then I have a bunch of face front pigments back here and also some NYX Pressed Eyeshadows which just look like that which I, to be honest, I don't think I've ever used them just because they don't really stand out very much to me. And then back here I have some Meron. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it properly, but a whole lot of their pressed pigments and things. I really love this color here. This is in Earth, I think, but it's just like a really vibrant kind of orange brown color. So I have my Kim Kardashian palette in the Kim's Kardash Kardashian bleh. Um, I have Bare Minerals Quad. This one here is in the soundtrack and it's really pretty. It's just neutrals with like a mustardy color and then, I don't know, just other ones that you can use. I have the Stila palette, which I've made myself. I'm not quite sure what the colors are called, but they're really pretty. Elizabeth Arden. Um, I've got MAC. I've got these Gadi ones, which are freaking fabulous. I love those. My Charlotte Tilbury one. This Nas palette, which is called And God Created the Woman. It's so pretty as well. My favorite one of all time is my Tom Ford She-Wolf, and it looks so boring, but it is phenomenal. Um, I also have a bunch of L'Oreal, Maybelline, and NYX over here. And then the next four drawers are all eyelashes, so here I have my EXO Beauties. These are the Romantic. I have um, the Flirt, which are just half demi lashes. These ones here are called the Innocent, so they're really, really natural. Um, these ones are one of my favorite pairs. These are the Feline. And they just kind of like flick out on the outer edge. And then the next three or four drawers, again, false eyelashes. I have just a few. So these ones are all of loveeyelashes.com. I have Red Cherry, Cara Lashes, um, some more EXO Beauty, which is my brand. I don't know if I said that. Miss Adoro, House of Lashes, just a bunch of lashes. Again, just a whole lot more. So I've got some Girls Aloud Eye Law ones, Cherry Blossom. Um, and then just more and more and more lashes. And the very bottom drawer is very boring. And here is just like some backups and some mascaras I haven't got around to using yet. And just things like that. Okay, I nearly forgot about all of my palettes. So this is going to be the last bit and it might be a little bit shaky because I'm just hand holding the camera. So here I have one of those like 28 color palettes or 120 color whatever they are. The Smashbox Masterclass 2 palette, the Favorite Things Too Faced palette, I have Lorac Pro and Lorac Unzipped, Naked 1 and Naked 2, Z palettes which I just have random stuff in, and then some Inglot palettes with some eyeshadows and lip glosses and things. And then all six of these are my MAC palettes which um, I have a couple of blush ones, so there's one, and then there's another, and I use these in my videos sometimes so... You'll slowly see the colors. This is my bronze and orange palette. This one here is my purpley palette and like silvers. This one here is all my blues and greens and stuff. And then my neutral palette, which I use all the time. I love it. And then here I have a Dior palette, which I got in a plane one time. And then my Too Faced palettes and a couple of BH Cosmetics. And then here I have my Chi Chi palettes, 
which are really good. I have my Kat Von D little palette here, and then my Stila palettes. There's In the Light, In the Garden, and something else in there, and then my Stila Lux palette here, and then this one here is all of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in a Z palette, and then my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic and my Vice 2 palette by Urban Decay and my Tarte palette I got in the Christmas kind of like pack thing and then the last one I have is just this Kat Von D palette that looks like that so that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some weird way and I'll put down below all of the like links that I can or like anything um, that I forgot to mention in the videos or whatever whatever I'll also link where I got my storage and all that kind of thing if I can otherwise I'll just tell you what to search on like Amazon and everything so yeah if you have seen any product that you want me to use in a tutorial or do a swatch video on or anything like that feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do the most requested ones and I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will be doing another one of these when I move as I said once it's all set up of course it might take me a few months but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon bye